Well guys, what do you think? To be honest, I kinda like the way it looked before. No. So my mindset with this renovation was mainly to get it functional, but also stay on a budget. So now we have a functional shower. Before, it was just the tub, it leaked and everything, so it wasn't really that functional at all. And I was really get, originally gonna put a wall on this side uh, to enclose the shower, but I was able to get this L-Bend shower rod, which is kind of neat, and an extended shower curtain, so it can be pulled both ways and block the water in, which definitely saves me some time and money. I was able to reuse the tub, the toilet, and the vanity, which is another huge cost savings. I didn't go with granite or quartz, so it's just, it's just a laminate countertop. I only picked it up for about 100 bucks. And what was really sweet about this countertop is that I, I wanted to put a stone here in this little kind of niche area. And I went to my local tile store and they said, we only have one tile that's over 24 inches by 12 inches. So they have 36 by 24, which is what this is. And they just happen to have the one tile and look how close it matches. That's absolutely insane.
Now a huge thank you to Adam at Red Plaid Developments. Give me a hand, he's a good buddy of mine. We've done, I don't know, hundreds of renovations together, basement renos and, and bathrooms, but he thought he'd come over for a few beers and tile this for me. I know it was a bigger job than he expected, but I really appreciate him coming out here. So if you wanna go follow him, I'll leave a link in the description. One thing he did point out is that I put the concrete board on backwards. That's just my dough head move. It's supposed to be rough side out. I'm not going to get comments on that, but just so you know, rough side out. Another thing is the niche is kind of lower than I'd like it, but that had to be done because if you remember the rough in in the back, I didn't want to damage all the wall on the other side. So I kind of had to put it where it was. Uh, it works out in the end and it'll be easier to, if someone has a bath, they can put their shampoos and stuff there as well. Well guys, thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoyed the video. And like always, liking, commenting, subscribing is always greatly appreciated. Till next time.